Hi friends, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today we're gonna to get to work on building this deck area right in front of my raised bed garden. My initial plan was to create this kind of patio right connected or right in front of the raised beds so that when you sat on our dining room table, you would feel like you were living in the flowers. But you'll see by the end of this video that my idea for this area has changed somewhat. But I didn't know that yet when I first started the project. So let me just share with you what I'm working on as we're working together. So I started off by just removing the sod from the area where I knew I wanted the stone to go. I had measured out our dining room table. Did I just say dining room table? <laughs> I had measured out our patio table. So I knew approximately how much sod to remove and how many stones to order. And I wanna send a big thank you to the person who commented that I should look into getting this stone delivered. I did pay an additional $80 to have the stone delivered, but it was definitely money well spent. The stone was really heavy and that would have probably taken me maybe three trips back and forth in my Honda Civic or even the older truck. I would have been scared to put so much stone in our 99 Ford. But here we are laying the stone down. I did level the ground a bit. I think I forgot to record that part, but I made sure everything was nice and level. And now this stone was definitely tricky to work with. At first I thought I was lining up the grooves and I just kept laying it down and taking it back up again because the pieces just weren't fitting together properly. But thankfully someone had reviewed this stone on the Lowe's website and they had a picture of how theirs turned out. And so I ended up using that review picture as a guide and then it really started to all come together nicely. We have been blessed with so much beautiful weather here in Pennsylvania lately. This first day that we're working together, I believe it was maybe 54 degrees out, 54 Fahrenheit. And this project is gonna take two days to complete. The second day, I believe it was 45 Fahrenheit. So it was really just wonderful to be outside, being productive. You know, winter is that time when we kind of imagine what we want to do the next growing season, but then once you figure out what you want to do, you're kind of just itching to get out there and do it. So I was just really grateful that on these kind of temperate days, I could get out into the garden again and get some work accomplished. It always just feels nice when your body kind of aches at the end of the day after a hard day's gardening work. It's kind of a good ache, isn't it? So here I am just removing more sod and I do love removing sod. My husband always jokes about how I love doing that. Rocky came to check on us, making sure everything is in tip top order and to his liking. And I think I ended up using 44 stones for this project. I did have 30 stones delivered and I wanna thank whoever commented that I should look into getting the stones delivered. That saved me so much trouble and really so much back pain because it was really just getting them back home that was hard on my back. Laying them really wasn't too bad at all. So here we are at the next day and what I'm doing now is digging out some garden beds on either side. So my original thought was to dig out these garden beds and plant flowering annuals in them that we would not cut. I still may do that, but I'm leaning towards leaving these beds just with mulch and just completely plain and having kind of a moment for your eye to just relax and rest. There's so many flowers going on in my garden. There's just so much going on in my garden because I'm trying to grow as many cut flowers as possible still here on my half acre that maybe it's nice to just have this area where there's not anything growing. I'm really not sure how it will end up. Let me know your thoughts on the matter. But for the time being, I think I'm just going to let it be and it'll just remain the way that it looks at the end of the day today. One thing that I knew I needed to change was to make it look a little more triangular. That first day it ended up looking like a perfect square and I really didn't want it to look perfect or contrived. I wanted it to look more like it had been there for a long time and I'm really hoping that it'll have a nice weathered appearance as the years go on. Almost the look of an old English garden is what I'm always going for. So time to remove more sod. <laughs> I love how Grace's nose is just 
peeking out the side of the screen right here. Isn't she just absolutely adorable? She was my good helper today and always. Some of these side stones were definitely hard to level because that area I had not leveled properly before getting started on the project. But what you're going to see me do next is to take some of the mulch that is in between all of my raised beds and just push it forward in between the cracks in the stone and also over on those side beds just to make it once again feel like this all goes together. This was all made at the same time. It all works together. Um, I believe it was the first three years we were here. There was just rows of cut flowers back here. Then my husband built me four raised beds initially, and we've just gradually added on probably about two or four henceforth. I also think it's interesting when you're watching video back of yourself, first of all, what in the world is going on with my pants? <laughs> <laughs> These are mom pants to the max, aren't they? But one thing I see definitely needs changing now is this large terracotta pot that I have, the Inkberry Holly in. It's really standing out now too much, isn't it? it? It doesn't really go well anymore. So if you have any suggestions on what I can use to paint that terracotta, the same color as my concrete um, bird bath right there, I would really appreciate it. But here we are, friends. Here's how it's looking day two. So here's a closer look, friends. And here comes Grace to say hello to all of us. Let me know what you think so far. There is still so much work that needs to be done, but I think it's a really nice start and a really nice way to get the vision of where I want to head with this garden moving forward, which is making it as much like a room as possible. So I think what I might need to do is bring these beds out like this, even if it just stays mulch, maybe some nice pots on the corner. Maybe that would be nice. Let me know what you think about that. So I just have two Adirondack chairs here on either side of the new patio. I guess I'm gonna have to figure out what to call all these things. Some people have been asking me about this. I think I showed this in a video last year. I believe this is called the Smart Fountain by Plow and Hearth. They did send me one out. This is not sponsored or anything like that, but I really do like it. You charge it inside and then it's run on remote control. It even has lights, so it lights up at night, but it's really nice for places like this where you don't have any power. So friends, I definitely need your help with this pot. You know, originally I thought, oh, maybe I need to invest in a new big cement pot, but I think it's easier just to paint it with something. So moving forward, we definitely need to paint that pot so that it matches the lion bird bath. We need to go ahead. I'm gonna take us on a little field trip soon to Jake's trading post to get some more of these trellises. We're gonna get really tall ones for the back corners. These are gonna be our small ones here. And then as I move off the deck, we're gonna have maybe some five foot ones in these corners. And that's gonna be the start of our walls, our cup flower walls. But friends, I think I'm gonna wrap up today's video here. I need to go get ready for the Super Bowl party we're having. I wanna wish you all an absolutely wonderful day. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope you have a really wonderful day and a great Super Bowl. Bye.